Hello everyone, in today's useful project is a smart extension board that can be utilized to switch to AC load via a web app. This project's brain and brawn are really a custom board made of an ESP8266 board controlling two relays to switch two different load. The optimal situation was to design an extension board with AC socket that are connected through a home automation board's relay so that by toggling each relay we can control the state of each load. I needed a smart switch for controlling two load in my workspace, so I made this project. I've created a dual relay home automation board in past, which uses an ESP8266 to control two separate relays to switch to output or load. The XYZ equipment attached to these two relays can be operated by the user by accessing the home automation device web page and pressing the buttons that will toggle the load. The idea was to design an expansion board with a unique twist. In this case, the addition of home automation board that I already have previously created. It consists of a custom PCB that PCB we provided and the entire circuit is built on a straightforward ESP07S basic setup connected with two separate MOSFET acting as switch to control 5V relay. There's an onboard isolated dual output SMPS on the circuit as well as to convert the AC into 3.3V for ESP2 work and 5V for relay to work. The relay NONNCR link with the AC is live wire and what we did was we added live wire from relay to the AC socket live connector and then added neutral to all the AC socket. This configuration connected two sockets with a relay which is when turned on or off stop power from entering the AC socket. This was the electrical work. For creating the mechanical body, in Fusion 360 we model a body that has home automation circuitry three AC outlets and even area for adding an additional 5V 2A SMPS so we can add USB functionality to this socket. To extend or output 5V 2A from the SMPS, a relay board was designed and then the board was afterwards sent to PCBA for samples. After the PCB design for the USB extension board was completed, Gerber data was generated and then sent to PCBWA for samples. An order was placed for PCBs with white solder mask and black cell screen as it looked pretty cool in general. The PCBs were received within a week and they were excellent as expected. I really love the quality of the PCBs made by PCBWA. There are other manufacturers available but their service is always on another level. Check out PCBWA for getting great PCB service at less cost. The USB board was quite easy to put together because only three USB socket needed to be attached to their PCB pads and then solder in place using a soldering iron. Using M3 nuts and bolt, we first add the AC sockets to their position on the 3D printed body to begin the assembly process. The AC wire are then connected to the relay and socket using the accompanying wiring diagram. We then use hot glue to permanently fix the home automation board in its position. The USB board is then attached to its place by using hot glue. Next we connect the USB board to the 5V side of the SMPS and then we add the SMPS AC source with the AC source of the extension cord. The exposed AC wire are then covered with hot glue to keep the SMPS in its place and avoid shorting. Finally, the 3D enclosure receive a lid and the assembly is now finished. The final result of this project is a functional smart extension board constructed from scratch that has three USB ports for outputting 5V 2A, one direct socket and two load output that can be controlled by a web app. 
I have a 240 volt AC room cooler attached to this extension board for demonstration of this project. And yes, it can be turned on or off by using the simple web app for the home automation system. And this is it for today folks. Do leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project. Thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service or stencil service for less cost and great quality. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.